What's up, guys? We're back. Uh, joining me here on the mic, you got your boy Raptor. Raptor, what's up, man? What's up, dude? How are I, you? I'm doing good. Traveling all the way from Long Island, coming out to Xeno. We're going to play some Loser's Quarters, I believe this is what this is. Yeah, it's yeah Loser's Quarters. And both players, I mean, you don't really expect them to be in Losers this early. Uh, you know, that just shows how much better everyone's getting. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Benny lost to Falcon and Rage just lost to Jen. Right. Yeah, Rage yeah, just so. lost to Jen and Benny lost to uh, uh, Stock Taker. Stock Taker, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I said that was Winner's Quarters, yeah. so kind of kind of a uh, upset for him. Now Benny's gonna have to climb through here. Benny has been, you know, getting to Grand Finals a lot here at the Xenos. Yeah. So I, I think be, he's oh. won the most of them, right? Yeah. Uh, well. It's kind of like tie. I think Jen has the most wins, I think honestly. It's Jen, but yeah. if anything, they're they're in contention for yeah. each other. Yeah, I would I say mean, Jen, Jen and Benia. Yeah, very know. talented players. And Benia just you know he throws out a lot of those dash tags and down tilts, but they're really safe and they set up for so much. Like that. <laughs> yeah, you just got the kill off yeah, of that. And we got fair. we got Ray playing Palutena in the previous set. We didn't even see the character. Saw so him messing around with Olimar and Rosalina and Luma of all characters. So now we're actually seeing Ray's main this time around. Feels a lot more comfortable with the character against the likes of Greninja. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Peltana mains are, you know, starting to look into secondaries. They feel like she's not as good as people originally thought. But I know in this matchup, at least, at least from what I hear from Venya, this matchup is, you know, very frustrating. Uh, Peltana can definitely keep up with Greninja. And I mean, both characters, you know, they kind of, kind of fuck up each other. Yeah, they definitely mess them up. And so at this point, you know, Venia trying to play it a little bit safe, see, no, recognizing that he's at high percent, doesn't want to go too ham out here and go for a lot of dash attacks and sit. That, that was a kind of a scared counter if, yeah, I, if I saw one from Ray. Saw him just mashing it because he saw Venia just starting to mix him up. That's exactly that's all Venia could ask for you to go for like a powerful option. You know, again, trying to dash attack really good option because not only does it set him up for success with like a kill, it also if it on shield it crosses them up. Yeah, and it you know sets up for 50 50s. Mm -hmm. You know, puts him in an awkward angle. It's it's a really good move. Very same right there. You saw him like you was right in front of him, able to roll away before the grab connects. It gets another okay, back air. Three stocks to one. He just, I mean, honestly, dash run across. across. I mean, whatever works. He was invincible. Why not? True. And I've got a, a, a little bit of a hill to climb here. Two stocks. Yeah. He definitely needs to be careful. Up airs are going to set him up for a lot of damage. So are these neutral airs. Palutena's shining tool. Okay, down tilt's a good option to use against the opponent when they're like hanging on the ledge down there. Very active hitbox. Could set him up for easy reverse aerial rush back air. Yeah, it lingers for so long. Sometimes you just like get up into it. <laughs> yeah. Very frustrating. Especially like let go of the ledge, you get a little bit antsy with an option pick. Now then you just, you know, he's keep playing keep away really well. I mean, he has no reason to really go in right now. He's kind of forcing the approach. If there's one thing I've noticed from Venia's gameplay, from going from Smash 4 to Ultimate, is that he's learned how to like switch between passive and aggressive like on a dime a lot better. Yeah. I mean, because of, you know, because of the shield mechanic, it's a lot better now to camp. That was a beautiful setup from Ray. You saw him pushing him off stage, forcing him to go for like a shadow sneak or an air dodge with the explosive flame, and then put him into a position where he could easily get that down smash. But it might be a little bit too late. He's above stage. Last I mean, stage control Venya's favor. You know, as long as he's alive, you know, it's not over till it's over. It's yeah. definitely going to be difficult, but if there's any character that could do it, Pelotana can do it. Right. Okay, 115, chilling back. And again, Venya, not going to try to get too overzealous here. Right. I mean, there's no reason to. Right oh. now, Ray's got him countered. Got him right where he wants him. Big punish with that down yeah. smash, throwing him off. The stage control is in his favor. I get off my stage. Yeah. Ray is doing a really good job just limiting his options, kind of forcing him to recover in a way where, you know, it's kind of risky. Ooh, oh, wow. no. Wow. Did he miss his angle or he just he, couldn't make it? I, he definitely missed his angle because he only went like, he just went straight up. He didn't even try to like go right. Watch this right. again. So he was so, pretty far. I'm not sure. So right there he uses double jump. So he didn't have any jump. So then he just, oh, yeah, yeah, see, so he went he right and up, then up. Yeah. It, that was definitely a miss input error. I think what he wanted to do was go up and then right to be yeah. able to grab onto the ledge. But even if he did that, like I felt like Ray had a nair or a barrel. He possibly could have hit him yeah. for it. So maybe he was trying to do something fancy, yeah. and it just didn't work out. But now we got a, a counter pick coming yeah, that, out. I mean, Olimar. that was a great comeback though for Ray. He was down three stocks to one, and you know he kind of just held his composure. Do you think that Utopian Ray opted to go for Almar this because Venia picked bomb destination? Um, probably. Yeah. I mean, he's got all that room to throw around Pikmin, run around, camp him. 
This is definitely a good stage for Olimar. Yeah, like, if you get above him, it's going to be incredibly hard to land. But again, same for Venia, which is why he picked the stage. That oh, counter. What the heck was that angle? So, Holy. So, <laughs> counter oh. can send you in eight different angles up to the Venia's discretion, you know? <laughs> But when he, when, he, when he hits the actual, like, substitute doll, it, like, stalled it out and made it, like, look all weird. Yeah, this is definitely Venya's game to win. He's already got him at 103% in the first 40 seconds. It's one more good setup. You notice he's th throwing out those fully charged shurikens to try to catch any sort of, like, oh overzealous uh, ledge option. But now, taking all that damage from the white Pikmin throw. Ooh, but wow. uses it to his advantage with the counter. <laughs> Smart stuff. Then he recognizes there's a Pikmin just wailing on him. Might as well just hit activate the counter that comes from it. Okay, he gets caught by another forward smash. Venny is sitting at 114% on hanging on that ledge for dear life. I I respect the up smash coming out from Ray. I yeah, just he hope. Was, you know, he was trying to read the get up. Yes. But, you know, Venny being smart, he can just wait it out. Trying to bail out these options. You know he's not jumping right into his shield. He's jumping in, then going for a double jump to feint it out, and then just backing up. Trying to see how Ray reacts, how he jumps into him. Now Ray just, you know, trying to find his way in. Reliably. There we go, nice. connects the dash attack. Now this is where it's scary as an Olimar main. If you're off stage, you know, you can kind of just get harassed. Yeah. But, yeah. you get back <laughs> on, even with the yellow Pikmin of all things. Get that kill the forward smash. Lands the white one again. Boys, wow, that, that looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, that time Ray knew. Yeah. So he went for the air dodge preemptively. Didn't get punished for it. And got 10%. Ooh, he fell out. Good purple. There we go. Just runs up. Gets a forward tilt. Has him off stage at 125%. Gets yet another grab. Just tosses him off for stage control purposes. Not gonna be able to get too much off of it because Olimar with no Pikmin off stage could easily get back to the stage, yeah. but connects the forward air. Ooh, risky option. Took a lot of damage in that exchange. Yeah, he went from like 40 to 67. Ooh, Nair oh. into Nair. And again, another passive venue coming out, trying to follow up with the fully charged water shuriken. Don't see him go for these too often. But against the likes of Olimar. Seems to be a strong option. It cuts through a lot of his Pikmin. He's definitely playing a lot more, uh, you know, a little more campy than I expect from him. Yeah. But it's good to switch between play styles, you know? Like, right now he sees us, you know, he has a lead, so it's smart to do that. Right. It's back onto the stage. Of narrowly avoids the purple. The fully yeah, charged this isn't again. Good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he might just kill with a fully charged shuriken if he yeah. keeps this up. I feel like uh, he definitely should. I mean, if he loses this, he should probably try out Kotena again. Mm. I, I just feel like Olimar doesn't have the speed to keep up with a character like this. He can kind of just get overwhelmed. And, I mean, he hits hard, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely overwhelmed. Too. I mean, it, it was a, it was a valiant effort from Ray. You know, he still has counter pick advantage now, so no matter what, he can go back to Palutena as well as a stage that he prefers to play with said character on. Now, do you think he would possibly go Rosalina? I, not for Greninja, right? No. Uh, well, thing is, like, he won with Palu in game one. Yeah. So, I, I, I especially with this counterpick to PS2, he's definitely going Palu. Tana. I think what he was trying to do was, like, oh, you thought you were counterpicking me to FD? Here's my Olimar. I think he was just trying to do, like, a... It was, like, a gimmick, thing, you know? Yeah. And now, no harm done. Going into game three. Going to try to beat him again with the Palutena, just like he did for game number one. Because he's got the stage. PS2, one of Palutena's best stages. It's just a big open stage. The platforms are in perfect spaces for her to be able to get teleport neutral cancels. error, as oh, well as be able to get teleport cancels. Some more nairs coming out. Really good at catching uh, ledge options as well. Just a long lasting uh, hitbox. Good combo. He literally got him from 20 to 50%. Yeah. But that was cute. Ooh. I've never seen that. <laughs> Reflect the hydro pump. Okay, trying to get that tilt. Venya recognizing that the first time he went for the up tilt after a down was uh, air dodge option from Ray. So he might, right. might, might put that in the memory banks for later. <laughs> up air. Gonna get the second really one. Air dodge. You know, 
know, Benny has been killing great spacing on that forward air. So he's like he's a sword Ooh, character he and just weaved out. Fantastic directional influence from Rage. Able to just back away with the shuffle. Going for the hard read. Ooh. Yeah, Rage does that a lot. Yeah, like he went for risky option to counter immediately. Yeah. Risky option to risky option. Like, hello? Hey, sometimes it pays off. There we go. Sends him flying 134%. Yeah, I, had that back here. Yeah, I mean, grabs. He didn't believe. <laughs> grabs again, once oh again. Oh my god. He just that? fell off stage with explosive flame. Tries to go for it again. <laughs> Benny backing works. off. He could wow. not avoid the fire. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Down throw. Getting that punish on the platform. I'll say, I like to be treating back air coming out from Ray. It's a really good uh, option for him to do in case the opponent wants to chase after him. All right, it's really safe. Down, great tech from Ray, avoids the follow up. He would have been dead if he didn't tech that. Yeah, absolutely. But he's gonna die to the forward air, but he got some damage at least. He got yeah, some damage. Good 45%. Yeah. But Greninja is very capable of literally bringing that back with one combo, as he's doing now. He brought it back. <laughs> yeah, man. At 0%. Now he's got stage control, he's juggling it. He literally just went from 0 to 75%. In like and he has 10 yet seconds. to touch the stage until now. And even then, he sent right, pops right back up after that dash attack. Another counter coming yes, from Ray. Getting a little desperate. Yeah, it, it's definitely desperate. Like the correct word. I, yeah. he's, he's he's feeling fear. I think frustration of some kind. I mean, just chill back throughout projectiles all day. You don't have to even go Ooh. for exchanges. Ray is so good at those. Yeah, that's, uh, so, that, that's so dangerous. You see how close he gets yeah. to the blast zone. Like he he spaces it perfectly. Like he'll recover every time. Good in there. Catch him with Baiting the last the bit of it. When you're in disadvantage, you just go for the forward air to push him away. And running away with the back, running away with the back air. Good mix up. Laying down with the down tilt instead. Tries to throw it out again and try to catch a two frame on the ledge. Nice. Trying to speed up the back air, but you know, Venya's well, a little bit too high in the air. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. He had the forward air ready to go. Forcing out the double jump with explosive flame. This is the this jab is, is paying the price for it. Are you ready down smash? I'm not sure. Explosive flame Ooh. baits out the air dodge. The recovery. Wow. There. All right. Just like that. Still anyone's game. Got to respect it. Final stock. Winner of this is going to move on to loser's semis. Loser going home with a fifth place finish. Ooh, that, back, that down air is so good. We're dashing still. That dash attack is so safe. And you, saw, you, up. you saw Benny just dash right underneath him. Working for that forward air right afterwards. Jumping and doing a lot of cross ups. Benny loves doing cross ups just in general, like whether it be a neutral air or dash attack, what have you. But now Ray sitting at 123% above him. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, Ray was in trouble. He had no jump or anything, mm -hmm. but he made it work. Just struggling to put in that damage. Have a jab raised back on the scene. Things are looking pretty bleak though. At this point, Vinny doesn't even have that approach. Yeah, just gotta keep doing what he's doing. He's doing he, the right thing. He could eventually kill him with a fully charged shuriken if he wanted to. I'll start killing at like 10 more percent or so. And you see the way he's uh, spacing those spares. He's not really committing. He's just kind of spacing it in a way where if he runs, he'll get hit. You know, it's very safe. He's got a comfortable lead, and he knows the only way that Ray's winning condition is for him to be like. To, to be risky. Right. And he knows that eventually, as the time keeps ticking down, Ray's going to have to make a power play. Ooh, Connects Ray. the fair, catches the jump, and Ray's going to go down with a fifth place finish. Venny moving on to loser semis. Going to be playing against the winner of Dill and Stocktaker, which I think is happening think right now. off yeah. stream. So we, oh, it's happening already? Yeah. So, wait, we're. Oh, yeah, we are doing the winner's finals. Sorry, I, I forgot that we haven't done that Who's yet. the winner's finals? 